Welcome to DJI NEO tutorial. This video will show you how to perform the first flight using the motion controller. Pre-flight preparations. Make sure the flying environment is open and unobstructed with sufficient light. Make sure intelligent flight battery, propellers, and propeller guards are mounted securely. Press down to remove the gimbal protector. Press the power button on each device to check the battery level and make sure there is enough battery power. Press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds to power DJI NEO on. Place DJI NEO on flat ground with the rear facing you. Press once, then press and hold for two seconds to power on the motion controller and goggles. Unfold the antennas. Adjust the headbands on both sides. You can also wear your glasses and then put on the goggles. Rotate the headband adjustment knob on the battery compartment to adjust the length of the headband. Beginner tutorial. The goggles provide interactive beginner tutorial. Before your first flight, you will be directed to motion controller flight tutorial. You can follow the instructions in the goggles to learn and practice the basic flight operations. During the process, press the back button on the goggles to skip the tutorial. For safety reasons, DJI NEO flies in beginner mode during flight tutorial. In beginner mode, the flight speed of DJI NEO will be limited. After completing the flight tutorial, you can open the goggles menu and go to status, beginner mode, to exit beginner mode. Takeoff and landing. Make sure that the GNSS status icon is white and home point updated is prompted in the goggles. Press the lock button twice to start the motors. Then press and hold the button again to make DJI NEO take off. DJI NEO will ascend to approximately 1.2 meters and hover. Press and hold the lock button while DJI NEO is hovering to land it automatically and stop the motors. Flight Control Press and push the accelerator to fly forward or backward. There are two stops when pressing the accelerator. Gently press the accelerator. You will feel noticeable resistance when the accelerator reaches the first stop. Gently press the accelerator to the first stop. You can adjust the orientation by tilting the top of the motion controller to the left or right. Press the accelerator to the second stop to fly in the direction of the circle in the goggles. At this time, tilt the motion controller up or down to ascend or descend at an angle. Tilt the top of the motion controller to the left or right to make turns. Apply more pressure when pressing the accelerator, and DJI NEO moves faster. Push the accelerator forward to fly DJI NEO in reverse. Braking and hovering. Release the accelerator and DJI NEO will hover. At this time, tilting the top of the motion controller to the left or right cannot adjust the orientation, but tilting up and down can still control the gimbal tilt. You can also press the lock button to brake and hover in place. Tilting the motion controller cannot control the orientation or the gimbal tilt. But you can use the AR cursor to change settings in the goggles. Press the lock button again to resume flight control. Joystick control. Move the joystick up or down to ascend or descend. Move it left or right to move left or right horizontally. You can operate the accelerator and the joystick simultaneously to control the flight attitude of DJI NEO. Switching flight modes and recording. The motion controller has two modes, 
Normal Mode, and Sport Mode. Normal Mode is selected by default. Press the Mode button to switch flight modes. While flying in Sport Mode, the flight speed of DJI NEO will be faster. The operation logic of the motion controller remains the same in Sport Mode as it is in Normal Mode. Press the Shutter Record button to take a photo or to stop or start recording. Press and hold to switch between Photo and Video Mode. Head Tracking Open the shortcut menu from the Flight Live View and enable Head Tracking. When Head Tracking is enabled, the horizontal orientation of DJI NEO and the gimbal tilt can be controlled through head movements. At this time, you can still tilt the motion controller to control the flight direction. Live View Sharing you can share the flight live view to others to enjoy your flying time together. Operate when DJI NEO is not taking off or braking and hovering to avoid interfering with the pilot's flight. Connect the USB-C port of the goggles to the mobile device using a suitable data cable. Launch the DJI Fly app and tap Go Fly in the lower right corner of the screen to enter the live view. You can also share the live view to another goggles. For the pilot, open Goggles Transmission menu and enter the pilot submenu. Turn on Broadcasting Mode and the device number will be displayed. On the other goggles, enter the Goggles menu, select Transmission, and enter the Audience submenu. If any nearby goggles turns on the Broadcasting Mode, the device and its signal strength can be viewed in the Audience submenu. Select the device number to access the Live View. Switch to the pilot submenu to exit the shared live view. Return and landing. Press and hold the mode button on the motion controller to initiate RTH. DJI NEO will fly back to the home point and land. If there is an obstacle during RTH, press the lock button once to cancel RTH. After exiting RTH, users will regain control of DJI NEO. DJI NEO will also activate RTH or land in the following situations. Storage. Press and then press and hold the power button for two seconds to power off DJI NEO, the goggles, and the motion controller. Clear any foreign objects from the air intake on both sides of DJI NEO after flight to prevent blockage. Attach the gimbal protector. 